town eyes, the city council is really active with trying to seek grants. And it is very important to us because we have uh, probably a smaller rate base than, than a lot of um, larger councils. And um, if we're going to deliver projects that you know, help with livability and attracting new um, people to our community, we need to be active in, in seeking out those grants. The Mount Isa City Council was so thrilled to be able to get um, the grants um, for celebrating our 100 years. It was great to um, foster community spirit, to let new people in our community learn about our past, have some of those big significant events and also build a legacy piece of infrastructure known as now Centennial Place. That's a great place for our community um, to spend time and for people to come and visit when they're passing through town. Having uh, that professional input uh, certainly helps level out the um, playing field. I think, uh, you know, we've got the um, boat ramp, pontoon, and uh, what we hope to have here then a couple of a large shed. Um, a toilet block. Have a uh, water park and a, a swim pool it would be great to um, help uh, children uh, and, and, and adults, but especially the children, to have a quality of life. Uh, and the benefits to have uh, treated water is uh, really um, documented. The, the benefits for our health, ear and nose and uh, stroke infection is um, certainly critical. It's extremely important to Carpentaria Shire Council. As a council, we only uh, generate 15% of our own revenue. 85% we're dependent on the grant funding that we can achieve to deliver the services and the infrastructure to our community on an annual basis. Carpentaria Shire is well known for being road builders and successfully getting road funding. But what's really important to us are the other kind of grants that we can go for that build community infrastructure like supporting um, hazard a reduction around coastal areas and um, developing youth programs, promoting our tourism and tourism and events, um, improving our water and sewage assets. And Peak Services has helped deliver, um, deliver those services to us by helping us get those grants and winning that grant funding. So by working in partnership and having someone do that for us, we're going we won, we're going to get the application in, but we're more likely to be successful in that space as well. Grant funded projects are uh, an essential part of, of um, developing infrastructure in our community. Without grants, it's just about impossible for us to maintain our existing infrastructure and build new infrastructure. When, when the grants come out, if we can't write the applications ourselves it's important for us to be able to access people with the appropriate skill set to do it for us and to be able to say we have a child care centre that offers you know up-to-date um, facilities especially in a rural remote area i think is a key to um, enticing them um, so that will be a game changer